In the year of 1875, a Danish linguist named Carl Adolf Werner described a new unique law to solve the exceptions which were present in Grimm's law. His law is famously known as Werner's law. To understand the law better, we have to travel back to the year 1822 when another Danish scholar named Jacob Grimm published his famous Grimm's law. Jacob Grimm expressed a solution which considered for the similarities among certain consonants in Germanic language and those found in other languages such as Sanskrit, Greek and Latin. According to him, the original silent pauses p, t and k were changed to spirants ph, th and h respectively. Therefore, Latin tres shifted as the English 3. Similarly, the Latin word centum became 100 in English. Related similarities can be found in certain other groups of consonants and the formulation of these similarities is known as the Grimm's law. Later, the certain exceptions of Grimm's law were described by Carl Werner and other linguists. It was observed that in such a pair of words as Latin centum and English 100, the similarity among c and h was according to law. but it was not the case between the t and d the t in the latin should become hunted to explain this exception grimm's law was further described under a separate law which is presently known as werner's law according to it the indo-aryan p t h directly follow the law accent in a word it shifts constantly in german english to f t h and h But if p, t and k is introduced by a stressed syllable then they shifted as it were by using a double sound shifting to b, d and g. For example, English father, mother and brother possess Teutonic equivalents as father, mother and brother which the actual Aryan types are pater, mater and frater. The end syllables of these show t shifting to d and it begins with a double consonantal shift. This is why Werner's law is also known as stress shift law. That was all for this video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Follow our channel to get notifications about more interesting content.